Hi guys, uh, this is going to be a quick demonstration about how you can see in a simulation the sending of a signal in a sequence diagram from uh, one block to another, but then also see that in an IBD where you'll actually show which ports and connectors are used to send those signals. So I'm going to go ahead and run the simulation so you see what this looks like, and then we'll talk about how to do it. To run with context. All right, so what you just saw is that we sent a signal that's called request status from subsystem A to subsystem B. We sent that via connector number three, that's this line here, connector three, and then we took and sent the same signal from subsystem B to subsystem C via connector two, and then we sent a different message, which was signal send status, and that was from subsystem C back to subsystem A via connector one. So to set this up, you first start with a block diagram. This, this is a very simple block diagram, the one that I did here for this example has a system block and we just did subsystem A, sub B, and sub C. They each have two proxy ports and then I created some signals and didn't end up using this S3 signal but this one request status and send status I did use. So after you create a simple block diagram that looks like this you'll want to create a, a sequence diagram. So you go to create diagram and make sure you do that inside of the system block. Create diagram, sequence diagram. And then you'll, you'll have these three uh, blocks that show up as lifelines as long as you select those. And you'll create a message that goes from one to the next. And then what you'll do is just drag one of those messages on. So let's say we want to change this message. I'll just change it to S3, you drag that message from your containment tree onto this line here, not to this box, but to this line itself, which is the message. And we'll say change signal to S3. And now one important thing you need to do is click on that and then click this, which is create signal reception. And when you do that, it creates a signal reception for the the subsystem that's the target. So it'll that block sub B will now have a signal reception, meaning that it can accept S3 as a signal. So you click that, it'll take you to the specification for the signal reception. And if you notice here, it says signal S3 owner will be subsystem B. And then you just close that out. So then if you were to look back in the specification for your subsystem B, you would actually see that in signal receptions. So we have one that's request status that I did have it set to, and now this one, which is S3, meaning that it can accept a, an S3 signal. So that's an important step there. Uh, then what you'll do is create a, an IBD. So if you go back to your system block, create a, a diagram again, and create an IBD, internal block diagram. And then you'll uh, expose all these ports so that you can see those. And these lines that connect these ports are considered connectors. So I just named them connector one, connector two, and connector three. And just for the sake of demonstration, let's say we wanted to connect up a new port. So I'll add a, a new port P3 on these, right? And then we'll go back and check that out. So... Let's see, you want to expose that new port and also this new port. And then we connect these with a connector. But if you notice, it doesn't start out with a name. It's good to have a name. That way you can see that because we'll actually have to designate that connector in just a second. So let's call this connector four. So let's say we want to send another message from subsystem A to subsystem C via connector 4. 
I'm going to double click on this sequence diagram to get back to that. And then we'll do a send message from subsystem A to subsystem C. And let's say we do the S, let's say we'll do an S3 message. Create a signal reception. Close that out. Now you have to double click on this message and then go to connectors. Expand that out. And then you'll see we created subsystem four, which goes between subsystem A's P3 port and subsystem C's P3 port. That's designated. Now when we run this simulation, we should see that signal get sent through there. So I'm gonna run with context. And there you go. Uh, one last thing to add as far as getting a diagram to show up in another diagram like that, what you can do, let's say you wanted to show the block diagram, for instance, you'd select that in containment tree. And it's any of these diagrams from the containment tree you can drag into another diagram and then make that show up. So let's say we just want to drag in the BDD, drag that down here, and you've hit this little eyeball right here you have show diagram and then it'll now show a little preview of that you can't edit it from that screen but you can double click on that and it'll take you right back to that thanks for watching